We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Vintage Collection figure review. We're taking a look today at VC262 is Velsartha from Andor. Um, I know I've said multiple times that I wasn't going to collect any more of the Andor figures. Um, just decided to stick with the 6-inch. But when they're marked down to, you know, a ridiculous clearance price, it was about 10 bucks. I decided, no, I'm just going to grab it. Um, because I do have now my sort of just down below that shelf there. I do have my sort of Dark Times uh, 3 and 3 quarter inch sort of section now. So I just thought this one would be good to fill that one out. Put Cassian in there and add to that sort of, you know, that sort of era. Obviously over with my proper vintage collection um, 3 and 3 quarter inch shelves. I do have a Rogue One section, but that's far bigger than than anything else so I decided no nah, I'm just gonna pick her up <clears throat> other figures in the wave on the back there pretty sure I have reviewed each and every one of these at some point maybe not the Clartoonian Raider but the rest I certainly have so she was a good cool character and kind of you know in terms of the figure I can kind of see why maybe peg warmed a little bit but that's all right I'm, I'm glad i picked her up so we'll take a look let's bust her open and have a look at the figure all right here is vel sartha out of the packaging not a bad looking figure um i've as i've seen from other people's reviews i think the main the main sort of gripe with this figure is sort of some of the tiny little details that are missing which you know with a, with a silver tip sharpie or something you could fix up just to get some of those little buckles on the on the jacket there um, it's such a tiny little figure, you know, it's, you know, some, I don't know whether it's cause I get used to, you know, mucking around with, with six inch black series. And when I come to hold a three and three quarter inch figure, it just feels really small. I'm not sure whether it's that or whether these figures are actually, you know, a little bit smaller than they have been in the past. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, you know what? I've got a Darth Vader on hand here. You know, not an accurate you know, because they're both completely different sizes. But no, it's probably about right. It's probably about right. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna carry on too much about the size. You know, I think the figure itself looks good. Accessory wise, she does come with this uh assault rifle. And well that already came off. So that's annoying. So yeah, there's a nice little fiddly bit there. Which looks like when it is fixed on, you know what? No, I don't think it's meant to, I think it will, no, I don't think that's meant to move. I think that's uh, stationary. Just the way it sort of sculpted looks like, you know, with the, with the six inch one, you can sort of flip that over. But yeah, with this one, that's just a wee bit tricky. It's got little square spots for it to go in. I was expecting it to be able to flip over and just sort of lock over the uh, over the the barrel there, but no, not to be. So I may end up having to glue that piece on. Otherwise, that's gonna yeah, it's gonna pop off if you drop it. That's a little bit annoying. But otherwise, the figure looks pretty damn good. Honestly, the face sculpt, you know. The paint applications there on the face look really, really good. If I can get up a little bit closer. So it's definitely a good likeness. You know, for the size of the figure, I think that looks really good. The sculpt of the hair is really nice as well. A little bit of sort of, a little bit of a wash through the top. Not so much through the length in the uh, ponytail there. Or do they call them father tails in Star Wars? I don't know. I don't know if they have ponies. But otherwise, the sculpt looks pretty pretty decent, like through the jacket. Got some cool creases and stuff. Again, like the the little buckles and stuff that you know, it just looks a little bit flat. I couldn't kind of understand why that's you know a gripe to some people, but you know the fact that the blaster rifle does have some you know little silver highlights and elements to it it's quite cool as well as the sort of silver on her 
wrist good wrist band there. So it's sort of just sort of standard black pants, brown boots. Not too bad. Yeah, definitely. Andor definitely got underserved in this scale, in the vintage collection, but I don't know. I'm not sure whether whether they'll do too many more, to be honest. I, you know, this one's been sort of hanging around for a little while. I don't know that both the, either of the Cassians exactly flew off the pegs, and the uh, the clone trooper being the other the other figure from Andor in the vintage collection. They, you know, they're clones. They're going to move. But um, yeah, I guess go through the articulation. It does have that sort of double double ball belt barbell joint in the head so that allows you know, a pretty decent range of movement it's just aesthetically pleasing not to have those stupid hinges in there uh, ball hinge in the shoulders ball hinge in the elbows uh, just a swivel in the wrists yeah just a swivel in the wrists obviously she's quite you know petite and dainty in terms of the figure um, she does have the sort of upper torso joint there Got the ball and socket in the inner thigh there. A swivel with the thigh. Hinge in the knee, hinge in the ankle. And the sort of rocker on the side. So now that we're down at the feet, we'll do the, uh, the peg test. One of these classic Star Wars stands. Not too bad. That's uh, that's not a bad, not a bad peg hole. You know, I could definitely uh, pose her up and get her on, get her on both pegs there. But you know, what? I'm I'm doing it as I sp as I speak, so I might as well. So that's not too bad. That, that, that fits quite well. So yeah, being being that she is a smaller figure, she may not have that sort of that weight, that center of gravity. So a stand may be a good solution for you to have her on display. Yeah, I'm not mind, I don't mind this figure at all. I think it's she looks pretty good. Yeah, folks, I appreciate you all hanging out and watching. Checking out the video for Vel Sartha. We'll be back with another video very soon. Probably tomorrow. <laughs> I do have the uh, Phase 2 Clone Trooper from Andor to do. So stay tuned for that. And we'll see you on the next one. Until then, may the Force be with you, always.